Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today we'll be reacting to episode 19 of Riverdale season 2 and we're at the pointy end of the season now so this is the point of the season where they cut all the bullshit and they get to the point and it's time to get going with the story and I think that's really where we really saw it last week at the end of the musical episode with Midge getting killed and sh put on show in front of the whole of Riverdale in a very bloody way and the return of the Black Hood and you will notice that this week I did not split the video into two parts because the reason I started to split it into two parts was to avoid copyright but even when they're copyright like blocking of the videos even when I do it like eight minutes of content per video it still gets blocked so I'm like screw you I do not have time to waste with all that bullshit Let's just put it in one video and if it gets blocked, it gets blocked and then we fix it up from there. And I'm really, really excited about this episode. The promo for this episode was absolute fire. So I'm really excited to see what happens next. And I just, I don't think I can predict what's about to happen. So take a seat, grab some popcorn and let's enjoy the ride. Let's go. Oh my God, the, the River Vixens in black. What? The angel of death had once more come to Riverdale. Mage Clump's gruesome murder had gutted the entire town, and in grief, brought us together. All of it's right there. Everything was completely fine until those letters started to show up, the threats to recast Cheryl or whatever. Wait, letters? What, what letters? Oh! I'm just jealous, okay? Cheryl always gets everything she wants. Maybe we got it wrong. Oh my god. Maybe she Spill the tape. Jason almost buried you alive. He was wearing a black hood. But something has always felt wrong to me about what happened on the bridge that night. Sheriff Keller, you're freaking clueless. You have no idea. Like the Furies of ancient Greece who ceaselessly pursue blood atonement when a crime's been committed. The oh. Vixens and I vow that we will not rest until those responsible for the murder of our sister is rightly punished. Oh, Cheryl! Spell the tea, Cheryl. Spell the fucking tea. Your department is working around. <laughs> you were supposed to be protecting our children. Oh. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your days of failing this town over and over again are numbered. Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl! Oh my god! Oh, burn. Check. Oh! Temper too. Check. Is here because I went to the hostel to get him. I love that Juggy's on my theory, but that just means it's not him. <laughs> yes, I can't bear the thought of anything bad happening to you. Oh, it's okay, V. Archikins has got this. <gasps> Hello? Oh, shit's getting creepy. Now, is Riverdale going to do what Pretty Little Liars never had the balls to do and reveal the Black Hood to the audience and no one else in the, in the town knows? Whatever you're getting at and you are getting at something, forget it. Count me out of whatever nefarious schemes you're cooking up. Oh, V. Oh, Veronica. If only Riverdale had more competent law enforcement. Well, I was right in the middle of writing an editorial. Calling for Sheriff Keller's head. Seeing your passion for the subject. I thought maybe you'd be willing to write an op-ed. Say no more. So we meet again. I am cousins with Cheryl Blossom, who recently escaped your secret gay re-education camp. So unless you cooperate, We'll be back with the court order and the FBI to shut you down. Yes, Queen! Apparently Charles ran away nine years. Oh, wait, uh, sister, are you sure this is my brother's file? Yes, dear. Charles Smith, that's his photo. That is not my brother, Sister Woodhouse. It most certainly is. I never forget my children. They just kind of showed that Chick is not Chick. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Some detectives we are. Should have gone with the sisters of quiet mercy weeks ago and found us. <gasps> I took Chick down to the sheriff's station to give a statement that I invited him back for dinner. Great. Except he's not Chick. Not. Hey. Shut the hell up, imposter. So can I pay a visit to the Sisters of Quiet Mercy? That is your real son. Uh. Chick, no. Ah! 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 No! Oh my god! Go, Betty! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, I was able to recruit Cheryl myself. I need a breather. Holly fucking call, she says, oh my god. Damn, those lodges are saucy. Saucy, spicy, and meddling. Hey, Felix, where are you? He's with me, babe. How you been, Ronnie? You miss me? Nick Saint Sicko. Fuck. Why are you calling me from my boyfriend's phone? So that you'd believe me when I say that I have him, Ronnie. Oh. And it's gonna cost you to get him back. A cool million should do it. So it's simple, Ronnie. Either you get me what I've asked for, or I start taking my anger out on your boyfriend. And believe me when I say, I'm extremely angry, babe. Oh my god, okay. I'm having mixed feelings, because he's evil, you meant to hate him, but damn, Graham Phillips, bro! Ooh, saucy with the facial hair. With ties to the underworld. I thought they were music producers. They are, but they're also mobsters. And if we involve the police, we risk exposing ourselves. This is probably why Nick was so brazen in calling you and not even trying to hide his identity. Mark is not blood. Oh. He's not my son. Are you fucking kidding me? If we pay, it sets a precedent. It shows that we are vulnerable. And you know who our enemies will come after next. He's done so much shit for you, and you're gonna leave him in the dirt? Are you fucking kidding me, Hiram? <laughs> Kevin! No doubt you read my think piece in the register. Yeah, I did, and I demand a retraction. You're smearing my father. <laughs> Let's unpack that, shall we? Your father's been incompetent since the beginning of time. And now that more bodies are dropping, he needs to step down. Lady Justice will be served. Oh, Kev. I hate that Kevin's caught in the middle. Like, poor Kev. Oh my god. What? What's going on? Is Mama what Cooper okay? No more play acting. It's just time for answers now. The Coopers. This perfect family in Riverdale. Who gave him up for adoption. Who didn't want him. Never even looked for him. One day, he knocked, and you answered, Alice. He practically slammed the door in his face. He said, we're not interested. You remember it, don't you? Charles went on a bender that night. He OD'd on Jingle Jangle. I'm responsible for my own son's death. No, I killed my son. Mom, we don't know who that is in the basement or what he wants. Revenge. He's seeking revenge. Veronica, the pussycats, my father is this close to disowning me. Whoa. He says I'm an embarrassment, that I'll never have the guts to be in the family business. Oh, the dick face is trying to prove himself. Oh. Whew. Damn, son. You can't take that to heart, can I? I shot Svensson on a bridge. I wanted this down with the black hood as much as anybody. So, maybe, maybe I, uh, cut a few corners. Oh, shit. This is going to the next level. I told you at the beginning, cutting all the bullshit now. The money. What? How about what we started in New York? What we should have finished back in the five seasons? What I'm owed? A night together. Oh. I'll book my usual suite. My God, Nick. You're a reptile. Oh. She went to FP. 
<laughs> this is the shit we should be rooting for, everybody. Phallus. No more secrets. No more lies. I should have told you. Sooner maybe something would have been different. I had your baby. I had your baby. Ah! It's name. I named him Charles. About chick? No, that what I was responsible for. So people are gonna say that was fucking predictable that we've been guessing that since the beginning of the season, but I don't fucking care. It would have been it's probably like it oh yes! This is the shit that I wanted to happen so badly. I wanted their phallus stuff, and this is what I want. No! Not again! No! Not that song! It's not chic because he's in the basement. Admitted, Betty. Deep down, you knew it wasn't over. Woohoo! A man who lived in a den of sinners, who kills as easily as he did in your house. That man has murdered before. No, it's my dad. Why are you lying? Where Veronica and I will be having a little date. Yeah, like Veronica would never. She would, and she is. Because I said I'd let you go afterwards. I'll kill you. We won't take up much of your time, ma'am. My brother, Charles Smith, I think he used to live next to you in room 237. Does he look familiar to you? Ah, yes. <laughs> he was a nice one. Always said when I was the yes. May he rest in peace. Oh, oh my God. Hold on. Did he have a drug problem? With Jangle Jangle? I don't know about any drugs. But they followed the time, those two. Nasty fights. It was scary. The bad one. Later when I took my trash out, I saw bloody sheets and pillows in the dumpster. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, junk. Son of a bitch! This is one of the best episodes that Riverdale have ever put out, let's be honest. You were right, he is a killer, but he won't admit it. Some sinners only confess when faced with certain death. Will you deliver him to me, Betty? How does he know Will all this? justice be done? Oh. How you are? You listen to me? You hear me? After what I did to Jason Blossom, I can't. I won't. I won't have you near that jug. All of my favorites. You remembered, Nikki. What are you still doing in this hick town, Nikki? When all of Manhattan should be kissing your feet. This dalliance with you and Archie, it's beneath you. Can you please stop talking about Archie? Couldn't agree more. <gasps> what did you do, Veronica? Archie, what are you doing? Oh my god, he's gonna drop. Oh! Smart boy, though. That's a really good plan. Wooden chair, it's gonna smack break when you fall. Oh! Yes, Archikins! There is a sickle tied up in our basement, Alice. It is time that we let the law deal with it. Okay, it's not that simple. Why does that parasite deserve our protection? Because I'll go to prison too. Okay, Chick killed a man here and I helped him cover it up. Where'd you get that? I took it. From a music teacher who was like you. A predator. 
Miss Grundy delivering the goods from the grave. Out the basement door. V. Oh my god. I gave Nick a taste of his own medicine. She roofied him. I roofied him. Smuggled in via your Christmas gift. Oh. I'm wondering how much it's worth to you getting him back in one piece. A bit of his own medicine back, eh? Got in a fight. I lost control. He's the one who called me. That's the actual Black Hood, everybody. I'd say you have about a 70% chance of making it before he cuts you down. Really, you should start running. 60%. The longer you stall, the more your chances keep dropping. What are you waiting for? 50. Who does he run like? Oh, Kev. I love you, Kevin. And then I stepped down as sheriff. Oh, sure. Into my badge. And if Fred Andrews gets elected mayor, then I'll have to fight another day. And if Ramoni Lodge wins, well, then I'm out of my ass. Oh. Oh. Hello, Daddy. Shit. Hi, Mom. What's all this? It's ransom money. It's not for Archie. I got him back. No, this is from when I turned the tables on Nick and held him for ransom instead. His parents gave me a cool million for my trouble. Can we just keep going? Can we just pause and give Veronica a clap for that? Damn, son, she just proved she's a lodge, but at the same time, proved that she can beat her father and be like, damn boy, set up. I thought about a lot of things while Nick was wailing on me. And one of them was how I feel as if I've proved myself to you in a lot of ways. But there's one step left. I still haven't made my bones with you. Well, what do you have in mind, Archie? There's only one man I'm interested in bringing down. The Black Hood. The Black Hood. Mother freaking shook, everybody. Some prisoners aren't bound by chains. We're locked in cells. Archie's prison was built with his own ambition and rage. The past was proving to be a cruel jailer. Where'd you go, Betty? Where did you take Chick? I took him to the bus station. The bus to Death Town. Where's Dad? He went looking for you. Why do you ask? How's the Black Hood? How's the Black Hood? That's it. That's the proven. That's the evidence. How's the Black Hood, everybody? He was not at the house when... Betty was out with Chick, and that's it. It's not Sheriff Keller because he would not do that to himself because he's going to lose his job, like, what the fuck? It's how, but I don't understand his motivation. Ha! Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. What an excellent episode. I must say that was one of the best episodes in a really, really long time. And as I've said a couple of times throughout this video, this is the nail biting end of the season where they cut all the bullshit and they say it's time to shine and it's time to get all our little story threads that we've been teasing all season 
just out in the open and it's time to just play with it. And that's what they've really done. And this was the close of Chick's chapter, I guess. But I really love that it was revealed that it's FP's son. So, so special. And he was so heartbroken. That seems so intense to watch because he was so cut as well because I don't think he really knew that it was like she had the baby and anything like that and that just shows their past as well so I love that whole aspect of the episode and they also had basically the Black Hood like we know the Black Hood's back and every com couple of people are like denying it I loved that they brought back um Nick Sinclair like that was a really good time for him to come back his vengefulness was like so good to watch and mind you the photo of him makes him look very good as a villain but anywho loved it and loved veronica turning the tables on it and not needing daddy at all so that was pretty impressive um and jughead really going in there and protecting betty but at the same time, FP coming in and grabbing him and saying, no, I do not want you exposed to this is really heartfelt and really touching because protect Jughead. And poor Kevin, poor Kevin with his dad being shat on for everything and Kevin being stuck in the middle. And Cheryl at the beginning being a bomb ass beauty trying to like demand justice. So, all around, what a great episode. Edge of my seat the entire time. Um, so, yeah. Drinks up to Riverdale for pulling out a great episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope my reaction was what you wanted um, and expected. That's the reasoning for this video. And I think that's all i got. So, make sure you, if you did like this video, you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Make sure to click subscribe because it helps me out in my channel and prove that I can still do this even though the videos are posted whenever I kind of have time. And make sure to check in the description box because all my social media links are there and you really would benefit from following this face. So, yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!